vehicles undergo a crash test rating, but now we need a hack test rating. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. When we talk about car safety, soon we'll have to also think about a car's cyber safety. When vehicles add wireless features to connect to the internet, it opens up the possibility for a car to get attacked by hackers. Not only are there concerns with privacy and tracking, but also it's quite scary to think about a virus taking control of the brakes and steering. All it takes is a flaw in security where something downloaded from the entertainment system sends commands to the car's main controls. Car hacking was a hot topic at security conferences taking place recently in Las Vegas. And one group is proposing a standard for the auto industry to guard against these new security concerns. The group, called I Am The Calvary, unveiled a guide to create a five-star automotive cyber safety program. And it also posted a petition at change.org to raise awareness and support from the public. If you think these worries are overblown, take this into consideration. Last year, two researchers demonstrated how a laptop connected to a Ford Escape could hack the car's computer and disable the brakes while the car was in motion. And if it can be done with a laptop connected, can it be done wirelessly? This year, those same two researchers assessed the schematics of two dozen cars to find security flaws, and they ranked what cars could be the most hackable remotely. These guys didn't actually try hacking all the cars, but rather they judged how the car was wired. Topping their list as most vulnerable was the 2014 Jeep Cherokee, the 2014 Infiniti Q50, and the 2015 Cadillac Escalade. What makes a car susceptible to hacking is when something like the navigation system, the radio and Bluetooth run on a network that's connected to the engine and brakes. Chrysler and Nissan said they are reviewing this research. And when it comes to high tech on the road, not everything is in the car. The Scully AR1 is a motorcycle helmet that has a display similar to Google Glass. And that display shows footage from a rear view camera with a 180 degree view. The point is that it eliminates blind spots and it can be faster to look at the display in front rather than glancing down at the rear view mirror, which the company says makes for a safer ride. It also comes with GPS navigation and it can be paired with a smartphone and controlled with your voice. It's designed so you don't have to interact with it while you're riding. The company is taking pre-orders now at a cost of $1,400 and it's expected to ship by mid-2015. That's your tech news update. You can keep updated on all these stories and more at CNET.com and you can follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.